don't have any idea where this video was going to go, what the content's going to be. I just was cleaning off and out and unpacking things we were getting in the mail to do test reviews on. So, I've got some things up here. I bought this from a person that apparently is not real honest and it's got some problems. <clears throat> and there's been a lot of comments about I don't do the best job in the world on these videos. I have to agree with you. Okay. With that said, I thought I'd buy some upgrades and that's used. Although it's supposed to be in new condition. It's got scratches on the screen. Came in filthy. And I don't know if I can make it where you can see that or not. But I washed it off on the front just to see how bad it was. It's got a uh, line through the... No big deal. Probably not going to use it. Would have been nice, but oh well. So then, I know that I shake around a lot when I'm videoing. So I bought this and I thought you used it this way. <laughs> it turns out you use it this way. Pretty neat, huh? It's got all kinds of attachments on it here. And I bought this <clears throat> to try to get a light source in front of the camera. So I bought a light source. Pretty neat looking little tool here. Bought a battery for it. And um, hopefully we'll get the videos looking a little bit better. This is the original camera that we started doing the videos with. And it's an old um, 2010, 2009 maybe, uh, Sony. It's a 13.6 megapixel Sony CyberShot. It does do full HD 1080, so that's a good thing. Um, it's a DSC W300 Super Steady Shot. Actually, does a pretty good job. It's not the quality of the, of the camera that you're looking through now, but it is a really pretty good camera. It's about to see the end of its life expectancy, I think. But we're going to continue making videos. We got another package in from Mass Depot, and it's. Um, it's a tire sealant, which we don't really have anything to use it on right now, so this is coming down the road. We bought a microphone for the camera that you're working with now, and it's a boom mic. Only thing is, it doesn't fit the camera that you're watching on right now. As a matter of fact, it was misrepresented as the microphone for the camera that you're on which is a Sony a6000 and the differences are that this is the stereo mic that works for that camera the Sony a6000 and the differences are that this one right here the connectors have to go in and it shoots into the camera this direction and all the contact points are in the front. This one if you used it as a boom mic look where the contacts are. They're on the back side. That doesn't work too well so apparently the camera it's for it slides into a forward facing hot shoe and that's the bad thing about Sony cameras. Sony I'm calling you out um, interchangeability apparently is not too great on these cameras either or it didn't used to be maybe they're a lot better now and I do like my Sony cameras I have to say that so I'm bit myself in the foot but I'm still calling Sony out um, this is a great mic and with the dead cat on it and for those of you who don't know what that is that's this furry looking thing here it's called a dead cat these microphone can be either splayed out or they can be splayed in and I generally use them about right there and then this just goes over it like this and you can bring it around under or you can take it over which is how I do it so again not really knowing where this is going um, I guess I'm just bumbling around here 
trying to make something out of this. I don't know what it is yet. Um, but we've got another impact wrench, a couple of them, more batteries. And let's get this out of the way. Let's look at this light. Well, of course, we've got more memory cards to shoot film with. So let's look at this thing real quickly. And let's see if it works. This is a W160 LED video lighting system, 160 LED lights, continuous light panel with camera mount and filters. Filters? Oh boy. And filter the light. So let's see what it says here. It's a model W160, max output, 10 watts, beam angle, 60 degrees, LED longevity, 50 50,000 hours, luminous flux 1150 lm, color temperature 6000. I'm going to shoot you guys right in the eyes with this thing. Check this out. Alright, so let's unbox this and get this out where we can see it. And let's see what those filters look like. Oh yeah. Got to have the user manual here. Ah, uh, we don't need that. And this must be the filters they're talking about. So they have a clear filter. Okay. They have a girly pink filter. And the manly man, big old ugly yellow amber filter. So I don't know how those work. We'll figure it out. So let's see how this thing works. It's like this pulls down. This pulls up. This pulls out. By golly, that's not too hard. Even I figured that out. And let's see. That goes into a hot shoe, apparently. Whichever direction you want to turn it. Alright. And you can angle it, spin it, whatever you want to do. Alright, that looks pretty interesting. Now, then, let's see. We have a cast car or caster, whichever you like. And this is a it's the same battery that takes um, on my monitor over there. And I already had that battery for something else. But while we're at it, let's test it on this. Look at there. We have red light. That must mean we've got power in the battery, huh? Okay. So now, let's take it off of there, and let's put it on here. Oh, it appears that this thing can also have an external power supply. I think that's pretty neat if you're doing continuous shooting. All right. It says we can test it right here. Probably has to be on. Oh, check it out. Can test your battery. Pretty neat, huh? Oh, and I've got the light on. Are you ready for this? You're probably not. Okay, I try not to shoot you straight in the eyes with that. That's pretty bright, isn't it? Let's turn around this way. Hang on a second. Let's turn this light off. Let's turn this light off. That works pretty good, doesn't it? Now all we got to do is figure out some way to get one of these on either side. Get a monitor on top. And let's see here. Let's, uh, let's try this girly pink here. Well, wait a minute. Let's try this. Anybody know how this works? All right. This doesn't make sense because it has nothing for it to click into. Maybe just shove it down inside here. I don't know. Let's see if we can figure that out. It's too big to do that. You do tape it on or something? That doesn't make sense. I guess we're going to have to use those silly uh, instructions after all. Alright, let's do this. 
that does give you some bright light but it softens it quite a bit doesn't it yeah that's a lot better all right let's take this off which one do you like best that might work pretty good all right let's look at the girly pink here there it is straight on 6,000 lumens It don't seem to make a whole lot of difference, does it? Oh well, looks like that's just height. But it looks like this will help me get you better quality video when we're trying to shoot down into a dark spot. And uh, tell you what, hang on a second, let's flip the overhead lights off and see what it looks like. Looks like it's basically dark in here, doesn't it? I got you can still see pretty good. All right, let's turn this thing on now. Uh, it's a little too bright right in the center, isn't it? But it still works. Well, we'll learn more about this and try to make better videos for you guys. So, just thought I'd let you know that we are listening. And we're going to try to make better videos. Don't know how much better, but we're going to do the best we can. And uh, we're going to try to do some more of these test reviews. People seem to be wanting more of those, and that's fine. Uh, we'll do those as well. And uh, if you'd like, go to Teespring, Max's Garage in Mahal, and buy some of our merchandise, like our t-shirts and our uh, speedos. No, y'all ain't got enough money for me to wear them. But they are available to you, so you can wear them. But again, I'm not going to wear them. But there's coffee mugs. We've got them for Huster Moore Group. We've got them for. Um, let me get that battery back out of there. We have them for Big Dog, Moore Owners. We have uh, we have the Max's Garage Mahal logo with bullet holes in it. Yeah, I know some of you like to shoot me, so that's what that's all about. So if you'd like to buy some merchandise, we certainly could use your assistance because as you can see, we really need to upgrade our equipment and get some better stuff in here so that we can make better quality videos. And um, if you have, if you're a company that like to have some test reviews done. Uh, I think you already know if you've watched these videos. I ain't cutting you no slack. I, uh, I've been told, don't tell you up front that I'm going to abuse your product. I'm going to abuse your product. Probably not as badly as the normal everyday user, but the Bizway company, I've abused their batteries. <laughs> I've discharged them past the normal discharge rates and I've frozen them after that point in time and I've just done terrible things to their batteries and uh, they uh, they want to know what I think so I'm going to continue as long as um, I can afford to purchase the batteries that you have tools for. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to give Bizway a plug here. They just came out with a 40 volt Black & Decker battery for cordless tools and I guess if it's 40 volt it's probably for big blowers and, and um, more than likely string trimmers and things like that. I don't have those so uh, I can't really do a very decent review for you so I, uh, I can't purchase one. I could purchase one but I'm not going to and um, if um, if you'd like to see reviews on a 40 volt string trimmer with their battery in it, then if you have one that you'd like to send me to test out and test their batteries, knock yourself out. I'll be glad to uh, abuse the string trimmer while I'm at it. So anyway, this is going to come up. Let's see what's in this box. This is another cordless drill battery. It's an R8, Bizway replacement R8. Forget what I bought that for. 
Uh, let's see. I've got another one of these. Let's see. That's another battery charger. Got another one of these. This makes two of these, but I've been using one in the videos. And I actually did a battery test with this, but I haven't really told you what I think of this little tool. And it's I'm going to do a review on it. It's uh, it's doing really well. I used it yesterday in a um, video. So you've already seen this little tool out here. It's a Milwaukee M12 fuel quarter inch impact. Doing a real good job. Um, I didn't think that I'd ever buy one. I'm going back to give Bizway a plug. There's the uh, battery that you've seen me do the video test with, the test review. And uh, this little sucker, it's got a good little LED light on it. Sounds good. So we'll uh, we'll break that thing down and tell you how it's doing and what it does and, and um, that's just some things that are coming up. Little teas, I guess you call it. So, by the way, don't forget to get your Max's Garage Mahal T-shirts, Max's Garage Mahal clocks. Can't have this one. This is my personal one. You'll see that in videos come along. Um, if you keep printouts of some of the things I'm doing, here's a Max's Grush Mahal three ring binder. I don't really sell those. I just made that for myself. <laughs> anyway, uh, we appreciate you guys coming by Max's Grush Mahal. Hope that you uh, got something out of this video. If you did, I don't know what it would be. But, if anybody knows how to turn this microphone around and plug it into the bottom of one of these, run by Max's Garage Mahal and do some surgery on this thing. I could use that boom mic. And um, again, we do appreciate you coming by Max's Garage Mahal. Let me get my glasses up here. We can see what I look like with glasses on. And uh, hit that like button. I'd appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a hustler, lawnmower owner, hustler zero turn, look us up on Facebook. Hustler mower owners. Go ahead and get an application in there. We're going to ask you three things. Have you seen my videos? It would be a good thing to say yes. You don't have to. I'll let you in anyway. I uh, will ask you if you have a lawnmower, a hustler zero turn. We'll also ask you if you don't have what kind of and what model Hustler zero turn would you like to have. So that's basically all there is to get into it and we'd like to have you come by. Love for you to contribute and um, tell us what you'd like to see in the future. If we can do it, we're going to try to do it for you guys. So uh, again, heard this before in this video I think three times already. Please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell down there by the like button, and tell us down below what you'd like to see in any of your comments. Tell us how boring this video was. That's fine because I'm bored just making it so I can understand how bad it's going to be when you're in. But once again, thank you for coming by Max's Garage Mall. Y'all come back and see me now. Yep. Yeah?